After more than 20 years of service, the Chinese peacekeepers of MONUSCO, the United Nations mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo, said goodbye to South Kivu on Tuesday, the latest stage in the withdrawal of the UN forces requested by Kinshasa, which no longer considers it necessary. A ceremony was held to pay tribute to their contribution to the consolidation of peace and security in South Kivu province where they were deployed. The 220 troops have mainly worked in engineering projects, repairing roads and bridges. Their departure, which will take effect in about 10 days, follows that of some 270 Pakistani peacekeepers who handed over the keys to their base at Kamayola, near the borders between Rwanda and Burundi, to the Congolese police on February 28. After 25 years of presence in the country, the Congolese authorities believe the peacekeepers are ineffective against armed groups and have called for their accelerated withdrawal, which was agreed by the UN Security Council last December, despite its concerns about the escalating violence in the East. MONUSCO, which currently has about 15,000 peacekeepers, is still present in the region's three most troubled provinces, notably South Kivu, North Kivu and Ituri. A three-phase disengagement plan has been adopted for what the United Nations and Kinshasa say will be an orderly, responsible and sustainable withdrawal. After South Kivu, the second phase and third phase of MONUSCO's withdrawal will cover Ituri and North Kivu, but will only be activated after regular assessments of the implementation of the previous phases. MONUSCO's withdrawal takes place at a time when North Kivu is experiencing a peak of crisis since the resurgence of the M23 rebellion at the end of 2021, which has seized last suite of the territory and backed by Rwanda.